Hi, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to Stardew Therapy where we talk about everyday issues and hopefully through this sharing you can find that you know the issue that you are facing is not alone no matter where you are, which continent you are from, which country you are from. You know, we, we have some commonality, we are all humans, we go through the same emotions and you know hopefully this sharing you can find some insight as well. Some of us has, have went through this before, I went through these issues before and if you are interested in sharing your issues, you can also go to the description in the, in the video. There's a Google form where you can just fill in your, your issues and kind of like it's a cathartic release I guess and then we can discuss this issue in the next video, in the next session and hopefully that will be useful for you. So it's the start of a new day, I'm glad that it's not raining, I'm happy that's there's no rainy days in stardew therapy by the way. <laughs> I, I'm not I'm not really a fan of these rainy days. Because sometimes the thunder is so loud, it's pretty scary. I think I mentioned this last session, but yeah, I don't know, it just kind of annoys me a little. But the good thing is that we don't have to water anything. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, I don't want to eat any of this. But today we're gonna to be talking about just Um I'm not quite sure how to title this. I kind of have a general sense of what I want to talk about. Overall, it's just being, I don't know, being bad at presentation and stuttering. I think since young, I really have this issue. Um, English was not really my first language, even though in Singapore we are taught English and our mother tongue, which is I'm Chinese, so we are we are taught how to um, speak it Mandarin and English. But my parents are, you know, they're Chinese, so they mainly speak Chinese at home and English wasn't really my strong suit. Hence, it can be quite challenging, I feel. Um, like at the start, I just, I just didn't know how to speak well. And I just didn't have the, I don't know, the, the level of vocabulary where I can articulate myself. You can see of in time you can see like elo people who are eloquent they know what to do. they know what kind of words to say at certain moments. They don't they don't really like um repeat like you know if 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 you are bad at English at one point you realize that you can often repeat words, similar words, right? Like you keep on using and instead of using other connect you know, connecting words connecting sentence together there are different ways to do it right and you always rely on one way which might not sound great and because of that also it kind of affects my ability to speak well and for some reason i have a stuttering problem not to the extent where it's so bad where i can't speak properly and what you're hearing right now it might sound you might think that oh he sounds fine why is he talking about all these things right like but actually in the past I'm pretty bad and I think through a lot of practices I I think during high school I went to I went in Singapore there's this institution called polytechnic so it's either you go to a junior college or you go to a polytechnic and when you go to a polytechnic you get to study different courses so I went to an applied drama and psychology course where you know I, 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 I studied I mean the main reason is because I wanted to study psychology but those psychology courses pure psychology courses were very hard to get in so we had to settle I had to settle for less by going to applied drama and psychology but doing the applied drama part which is something that I didn't that I didn't like intended to do but I have no choice because I'm going to study psychology I learned quite a fair bit about you know running drama workshops speaking in front of like young people and that definitely helped a lot and it kind of make me more confident in myself even though I still stutter a bit because I get pretty nervous and my language is not very good and after I started doing like content creation you know with, the, with this whole goal of just being able to speak better because you know what really pushed me to create content it's not just I mean mainly it was more about creating a community but overall I think there was one event that really pushed me to to really like do content creations it's also you know i was presenting one day to a group of like uh, incoming students like potential students for my university 
like there was a competition for all these young high school students and I was presenting to them about our school and you know I didn't I thought I was pretty good at it but when I was standing in front of like hundreds of people I kind of like stammer I I was so nervous I couldn't talk properly and it kind of suck that feeling you know that feeling when you kind of know that you you fucked up a, a presentation you didn't know the right words the words didn't come to your head and I really hated you know I remember that moment forever and afterwards I went to look like, how do you become better at presenting how do you not stammer how do you like be eloquent and all these things and I realized that at the end of the day it really comes down to being prepared and also practice so obviously during those like during that presentation I didn't prepare for it because I thought you know we might apply drama knowledge I've done a lot of workshops it's fine 100 people I mean it's not much difference from 20 people right but it was so different man and I didn't prepare I didn't rehearse for my materials I was pretty bad at it like I didn't understood where like what things to talk about at different periods I, I mean I don't want to be one of those people that read off the slide right I don't want to be one of those people and you know I learned I learned about it like I, I realized it and that was one of those moments that stuck with me I didn't start a YouTube channel immediately but you know it's, it, it went with me then eventually when I was thinking about doing content creation just trying to create a community then I realized like you know it's not just about the community giving back to the giving back to everyone you know like I was very much inspired by content creators like like during the darkest time I watched all these content creators like Oh Carnage, Disguise Toast, like these few popular live streamers and various ones like if you are interested in anime, Japanese anime or Japan stuff like the Trash Taste Boys uh, and a lot of the vloggers that I used to watch I think it kind of kept me distracted from life and that's not really a bad thing isn't it like it kept me distracted from all the problems that I'm that I was facing that is happening right outside my like my door you know, I lock myself in like my, when my parents quarrel or or when life is tough when I got rejected um or when I don't feel that great when I got scolded at work kind of helped me kept me along kept me going and I wanted to give back and that was the main reason and also it's also the presentation part just being more eloquent because you know, sometimes people who speak so well are strangely attractive don't you think so and I felt that like I wanted to speak better I want to be cool I want to be able to command like command the I don't know like being able to command the crowd or everything that seems really cool isn't it and that's why I started doing all these things so if you feel that you are like stuttering you're nervous don't worry about it I think all of us feel the same way we feel anxious no matter how confident a person seems to be but you know those people who are confident have done a lot of practice they have gone through a lot if they are confident and they have not done no practice it's, it's either they are lying to you they are a serial liar or you know they are they, they have done a lot of practice for sure yep so so that's that I think if you are nervous if you are bad at presentation or any kind of like activity like where you feel that you're not confident in doing it really comes with practice it really comes with like repetition if you keep doing eventually you will get there uh, okay hold on a minute did I collect the mushrooms let me just go in for a while I have a short memory so sorry about that okay yeah I think I remember I collected <laughs> sorry guys but yeah right now I feel that I'm kind of in a better place I do not stammer that much but when I look back at the recording which I try and avoid I can still see you know when I say you know too much I, I, be, I get pretty caught up like I'm kind of like a a bit OCD, a bit perfectionist, I see. Well, why are you saying I know every time? Why are you saying and? And can you just like 
be more eloquent to my, like but you know I just gotta like let loose a bit and not be so uptight like overall it's not affecting that much right I'm not saying the same words over and over again I'm able to convey what I'm trying to say easily um so just trying to be kinder to myself as well but overall I feel that I'm in a good place now like with every with, with every video that I created I become better right and hopefully at the end of the day I can like just talk without like any kind of stammering I, I'm able to articulate my thoughts well I'm able to be funny you know sometimes you see those content creators that have been doing like for 10 over years they are suddenly so funny like yeah it's so natural to them but they have been doing this for 10 years so hopefully I can get there one day yeah but I hope all of you uh, who are feeling these issues who have like been through this problem no need to worry like as long as you just take it one step at a time um use these moments like where you feel scared use this moment that terrifies you as a kind of motivator to move you to the to become better right it's not about just I kind of find hustle culture or this kind of self-improving thing a bit disgusting and you know you need to set action plans or everything and it's okay if you don't like it's okay if you like kind of um am afraid to take the first step it's fine but taking the first step is the most important part you can take your time but as long as you take the first step that's the most important you can always take a take a small step uh anyway i'm just for foraging looking for things to pluck i suppose uh yeah just taking the first step is is the best and you know you just need to sit down being self-reflective is is quite useful if you are i mean if you are better at presentation you kind of sit down and think like okay what what, should, what can i do here okay do more preparation um can i do more like and I find some ways to, some avenues to practice maybe i can like volunteer for more opportunities at in school like in certain places where they need leaders they need people to present then you can take those opportunities to use it as a practice session there's no harm in doing that and as long as you keep trying you you will eventually get there even though you might not notice the the, the improvement in the past i didn't until i kind of like somebody told me that hey yeah you do you speak pretty well um yeah so you just keep doing keep working at it and you will eventually get there it's not one of those situations where like you know you can't figure this out because it's not a very complex issue right it's just you can't you can't speak well or perhaps a good example is like you don't know how to drive a car that's why you have to go for some training simple as that it's not like rocket science or anything as long as there's repetition you'll eventually get there hey where's my ex where's my ex jeez i wanted to cut down some trees but it's a bit too late hey did i sell my ex oh oh crap i went to upgrade my my X to a bronze X and the blacksmith is still working on it I need to sell some of these things first give me a moment here it's kind of hard it's, I think as much as I speak kind of well like I'm eloquent to some extent it is very difficult to to play and speak at the same time even though I'm just planting and and watering right yeah, it's still pretty difficult. Hopefully one day, like I can be one of those expert content creators. I can speak and be funny. At the same time, you're playing a game, man. How? No, I'm not quite sure any of you know Northern, Northern Lion. It's amazing. It's like you can, you can be funny, you can speak, and you can present at the same time. It's, it's absolutely insane. Let me see whether I... Okay, that's great. I, 
Okay, I just need to double check, okay. Yep. So, let's go to sleep. It's a bit too late, really. Yeah. I realized something. Like, this- sometimes this session is a bit too- too short. So I know that I need to sell stuff so that this- this panel, this page, this frame will come out so I can have more time to talk to you guys but I'm not gonna talk too much until 20 minutes but hopefully this session was- was useful and you know as I keep creating these videos um if you are interested in sharing your- your own problems you can always find a google form the google- that I created a google form in the description you can just like it's kind of a cathartic release you can just write your problems and we will talk about it in the next session not really a therapist but hopefully I can give some of my opinions and what I've gone through that is similar to what you are going through and meanwhile I think hopefully as I continue to do this it gets better I get I become better at talking about my feelings I become more eloquent and and also you know I'm, I'm just thinking maybe down the line we can not just talk about ter like issues like if you find this video relaxing or comforting probably I can do something where I can do a longer session like, like an hour or two hour to talk about everything that's happening in my life or it, and I don't want to be so self-centered so you can talk about interesting things that are happening around the world or just interesting stories from from my life and anything that's positive news as well so hopefully I can make it into a podcast version because if you notice on the channel like this video actually I converted it into a podcast so you can just listen to this as well like this study therapy and maybe we can create a longer version where we can just I can just talk, talk you to sleep that's pretty useful right I mean you can play study therapy as you as you try and like like as to wind down and and while you're wi after you wind down you can listen to to me talking to you about stories and you can wind down with the music of Stardew Ter like Stardew Valley as well that's really cool right I mean uh, just let me know what your thoughts on this on this idea like just talk about random things that's that's nice yeah so that's that for today and thank you for listening and you know just I will see you in on the next video. Goodbye.